with the hurting and stuff, you know, that kind of keeps you up and what have you. Excuse me. Bad manners. Didn't mean to. A little gas. Sody. Um. You know, I, I just sitting there thinking. You know, looking back over my life throughout the years, I can sit there and see how far I have come. It's been a long, hard, rough road. And that's why I leave some of the videos that I have on my channel, I'll leave them. Some I've deleted, but I've left them up, you know, just kind of as a, a reference point for others to, and myself, to see how far that I have come. But I wanted to share a little bit with you, okay? Uh... See, even though I have a native heritage, see, a lot of people get this idea that if you're native, you know, you can't be a, a, a Christian and, and, and be a native because it just don't mix. But see, that's wrong. There's a lot of Native Americans that are Christians, you know. And you admire them. You know, because they, they know. See, Native Americans really always believed in the great beautiful one. You know him as the creator. Uh, Yeshua. Uh, Jesus. Uh, you know, the son of God. And, you know, Native people's always understood this. It's just that when Europeans and all of them people came over here, they were introducing something that sounded odd to them. You know, it's like they talk about one, but they're saying that there's three. You know, that was confusing to them. And to some, it still is. But anyway, that, uh, I'm getting off the track here. Please forgive me. But uh, anyway, I uh, I was raised in my my mother and, and father went to church. I was raised in church. They were, of course. Now their their denomination was the uh, Pentecost. Uh, the uh, what some called the uh, oneness. Uh, the uh, uh, Jesus name. Uh, only church, you know, uh, that, that, that denomination, and, you know, I, I think they always misunderstood in that, that religion when people say Father, Son, Holy Spirit, <laughs> they, they weren't saying that there were, uh, three gods, you know, they were just saying there was one. And, you know, you, you get people that they'll, churches that are saying the same thing, just saying it differently, right? But anyway, um, I was a, I was 13 when I had first came to the knowledge, of, you know, of, of Christ, you know, that I, gave my life to to him you know and I'm not going to go through the uh, whole biography here because it would take forever but anyway you know I had kids make fun of me and stuff like that because of my choice of doing it because he knew the way I was I was a bad boy before all that I mean I was real bad uh, I had, uh, I had a mouth on me, like you wouldn't believe, before that, and if my father would have ever heard me, he would, uh, some of the w language that I had used, he had, uh, tore my hide up, and rightfully so. 
but anyway um, I gave 100% of myself into church you know and uh, I had good times you know enjoyed it loved it until one day I don't remember how old I was um, maybe 16 uh, somewhere around in there maybe uh, I wasn't really looking for it per se I really wasn't you know doing that but I, I started seeing the backbiting hearing it you know they'd say to one uh, one would say to another I love you brother or I love you sister and then they'd turn around and badmouth them behind their back gossiping and uh, that confused me you know that really did it, it was weighing on, on me and my faith was starting to waver so well um, I'll skip on a few years here I there was one day I decided I was going into the military and uh, of course my father tried to talk me out of I should have listened to him and I'll say to you young people you know I'm not saying in every case because different cases for different families and stuff you know but in my case well I should have listened to him and but as a, a general rule uh, if you're a young person watching this uh, please listen to your father or mother if they're giving you good advice heed it it will keep you out of trouble in the long run but well I wanted to go in I wanted my father to be proud I wanted you know me I, I wanted him to to you know see how much you know that I you know I could be all that I could be you know uh, and and what I could do you know for him you know to, to show him and my mother both you know that I wanted them to see what I could really do and on and on but you get the picture but anyway I went in there and I really wish I had now don't get me wrong I am for the military but the way that the military well I've heard here recently with all this wokeism stuff getting in there and what's going on there um, it's sad but I know not all of the military men and women are that are, are not all of them are that way but the time that I went in there was stuff let me just put it away stuff going on in the military and there uh, where I went for my training and all that and I wish I hadn't well things backfired I was uh, I was tortured literally tortured and it was like my faith just flew out the window I mean, there were times I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to harm somebody, and all that was so bad. But uh, to make a long story short, I eventually got out. But and uh, I, it was a lot of stuff that has uh, that had happened to me. But the thing was, I got out even after getting out of. Uh, uh, my, my my faith was completely shot and everything and uh, needless to say it, it has been it been up and down up and down and finally it was just down you know for me and uh, yeah I had gotten married uh, I had you know two daughters uh, uh, 
though they would be what a lot of you would call stepdaughters but to me they were the same and still in my book the same as uh, as if they was my own flesh and blood uh, the one was just a baby a literal baby and uh, the other one uh, she was uh, seven at the time that I, I married their mother and I seen them as my own and ra helped raise them but um, stuff happened and I ain't gonna go into all that and we ended up getting divorced so that didn't help help me none I mean so I was uh, due to the stuff that I had happened in the military you know and flashbacks and and you know mental anguish and, and stuff you know uh, it was uh, more than what I could handle so uh, anyway um, you know over the years um, it, it was kind of like um, even though I acknowledged the Creator I wasn't living or giving my life for him, you know. And now, I'm asking that you listen to me, you know, on this. And if you don't want to listen to this again, you don't have to. But I'm leaving it here for someone who may be going through some troubles and struggles and stuff. Having doubts or whatever. And, you know, and of course with, uh, you know, uh, losing uh, my uh, wife that I'd married, I, I'd remarried back in, uh, let's see, what was that, 2018, I believe it was. We were married for three years, and, you know, she left. And, I mean, that really crushed my spirit. And then, you know, you, you see on YouTube a lot of trolling, uh, a lot of hateful stuff, people turning on you when they don't even know, know you or others really well, and they think that they do, and then they uh, turn on you. And all that. Well, that I mean, that can crush your spirit, no matter how old you are. It can crush you, it can make you hurt, get you mad, make you sad, you know. But we're human. We're human. Well, as far as that part, I'd, I'd got over it, you know. But... The thing was, I, I was feeling a void in my heart and soul. Started taking a, a good look. Because I'm, here I am 61, and if I live for next, till next year, come March, I will be 62. In other words, I'm not getting any younger. And we're not promised tomorrow we're not promised next week next month we're not even promised the next few hours you know you heard people to make make uh do make the best of things while they count well that is true but i found out something and see all right for one as I got to reflecting and for a long time I really hadn't got to open up the book of heaven of you call the Bible and taking a look at that and seeing everything that's going on in this world and knowing my age and everything and my health said I didn't want to burn you know a lot of people uh, scoff on it but it, it about Hell. And hell is not 
what you make it. You know, and the thing is, the Creator, the Great Beautiful One, does not send no one to hell. People send themselves there. So, in only in that sense, then that statement, hell is what you make it, uh, or heaven and hell, so to speak. In other words, what I'm getting at is, we condemn our own selves to hell. Or we can send ourselves to heaven, uh, so to speak. There, it, it is, there's that place where you have to make a choice. Heaven or hell, because you know one day you're going to go. The question is where you're going to go, up or down. It's kind of like you go down on, on a, a pathway and then you come to a fork in the road. You, you, you know, if you don't have a map and you just say, well, uh, I'll just flip a coin or whatever, or I'll just take one and, you know, whatever, but it can lead us down to a pathway of nothing but death. A hard, terrible road of death. You know, now, but if you have a map, again, even though you have a map, you can, you still got a choice. You go left or right. Now, the map tells you the correct path. But some people, even with the map, well, sometimes with the correct path that they need to take, they'll end up going the wrong way. You know, the Book of Heaven is a, a, a road map. And I want to say something, you know, uh, in, in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, the beautiful great one, you know, used men of old to speak. He would talk to them, communicate with them. And, because he did, they did. And everything that they ever said, it wasn't a hit and miss. It was always correct, and it happened just that way. And uh, anyway, that man was told to write. So he, you know, he, he, he wrote it out. And And it's written in there where the beautiful great one said that you know that he has sent his servant and he was talking about Yeshua or Jesus and told about the suffering that he would go through and how he would die but he carried the weight and the sins of the world upon him and it's written in the New Testament and, and it says that Yeshua came to this world not just to say hello, not to tell you that you're good enough or, or whatever. He come to save that which is lost. That's why he came. He came to save the lost. That's why he came to this world. So the question is, Are you lost? Do you feel lost? You know, I I sit there and and I think about that, and that, that's a wonderful saying. 
because it's true. You know, I've heard people talk about, oh, I'm good, or you go, well, how are you good? Mankind is rotten to the core. You know, we can say that, you know, in a, a matter of speaking, that someone says a good person. That may be in part, but the truth is, we're all rotten to the core inside. And we, on our own, we can't make it. So if you die, or I die, without Him, and relying on my good deeds, or your good deeds, you ain't going nowhere, except a bad place. No one wants to go. I don't, I don't want to go there, and neither do you, if you're got, got your head on straight. Thing is, question that each one of us has to ask ourselves where are we going you know I think a lot about what was done for me and I look at my life uh, and I uh, like enough's enough Lord help me help me feel you know, tugging at my heart so guys he's my all without him I can't I can't do nothing yeah I may hurt but with him I have a, a, I can have life. And that's what I choose, is life. We got a choice of life or death. And I'm afraid a lot of us tends up making wrong choices, which is death. But I hope and my prayer is that you would make right choices in your life, which is, leads to life. If you haven't read the book of heaven in a long time, why don't you just get the dust off of it? And read it. Because, guys, time is short. The writing is on the wall. Take a look. And then look at the Bible, the book of heaven, and see what it says. And when you read it, you will see for yourself you will see for yourself what, how close we really are. For the day when judgment hits on this planet, on this earth, and when you have to make a choice, life or death, accept him and live or reject him and die. Because even if they kill your, your body when you choose Yeshua, you will live. But some will see the day when they can meet them in the air. But the thing is, with all that's going on, and, and I hear bickering, and people saying so-and-so did so-and-so and said so-and-so did this and that. Life is more than all that, guys. Life is so much more. I'm too old. I'm just too old. And you are. 
you you need something more. We tend to get ourselves so involved in things of this life that we miss what is most important. What we call life, we say, I enjoy life, but do you really? If you really look down into your heart, you will question it. If you're honest with yourself. So the question is, again, are you living life? Because life without Him is nothing. Only with Him do you have life. Then you can say, I'm living and enjoying life. I love every one of you. You mean more to me than you'll ever know. I might not get to check all your videos out that you post, but I try. But always know that no matter what, I love you guys. Your family. So when so-and-so says this about so-and-so and stuff, all you can look at is that there is a miscommunication somewhere. And that stuff will eat you up. It will eat you up, tear you up inside. It's not worth it, guys. That stuff is not worth it. You know, you heard, uh, I think there was a song that said something about digging up bones. Let's not dig up bones, guys. I made my choice. I made my choice. I, I want and will give my life completely over to Yeshua, the Lamb, the great beautiful one. So what is your choice? I'm not a, a excellent speaker. I'm just me. So the question is, what is your choice, life or death? And I think those who's got their head on straight would say life. And the only way you can have that is by making correct choices in that one. That one is what I give you life. I love you guys. I love you all. And, you know, please, you know, show some love to uh, each other. Oh, Johnny Music, to Danny Staten, to Mar Maria Tolman, to Spitfire the Dragon. Uh, I think he changed his channel name or something, still with Spitfire, but anyway, to him. And to Jilly England Paranormal, and Becky Blue Eyed Paranormal, and to Hawk Paranormal, and Brenda. Uh, Paracryptid Hunter, I think that's right. Uh, show them, you know, love. 
check out their channels and you know and when people are love one another even if you disagree with somebody on something you can only agree that you disagree love each other love each other as he loved us there was no greater love no greater love than the love that he had for us but that's a choice you know life or death and, and, and love so love each other even if you disagree you know the hardest thing Jesus Yeshua would not have said it if it was to love your neighbor to to love your enemies to pray for your enemies not pray for bad things to happen because he won't listen to that if you pray that you're praying it on yourself don't wish bad things on people even when if they're your enemies but each one of us has to make our own choices and I just want to say one more thing and then I'm going now whenever I go live I can't go live like every time that I, I want to because StreamYard only lots so many hours on their free version uh, each month and, you know and I, and I try to watch that but when I get go live I'm not telling you not to do this okay I'm just only asking I'm only asking, that's it. You know, you, you can try your best, because I understand what it's like, but, you know, kind of watch the language, guys. You know, kind of keep it PG. Just try your best. I know it's hard. I once been there. I had a pretty bad mouth, and I know how hard it is. But try, I'm asking. Because remember, you know, there's other people watching. They have their children and stuff, you know, watching. And, you know, it, and it would make me feel good a little bit too, you know. As well as others that if we keep it, keep it PG, okay. But I love you all. And I, I enjoy all the times when we're on live and you're in the chats and things you know it, it's good and when you're on the panel I enjoy it you know so I I love having you up so be blessed and I sincerely mean that I'm not saying it to be saying it be blessed and I pray that your life will be full that you can be able to live life life to the full so look out for one another stay safe and help others you know like your elders and things the people who who are maybe crippled or, or something you know or, you know, they can't do things for themselves like you want to help them. And do it with an open and good heart. And you will find blessings. Golden treasure galore in your hearts. You will feel it. I love you all and I'm sorry I took so long. So please take care, and I will see you again, hopefully, if, if tomorrow never comes, know that I love you all, and I pray that one day, when we pass from this life, that I get to see you over there. Lord, I come. I confess. So until then, 
my friends, you know, stay blessed. Without you, and I hope that you I will always have life. You're the one Later, guys. Of hope. My heart. And what dope.